Hello and welcome to Paul's Spare Time. Hello, Hudson. Hi, Paul. Good batting practice today, buddy. Mm -hmm. You know what I think we should do? Film a nickel video. A nickel video? Did you say it's all about the Jeffersons? We're going to do a nickel hunt. We are trying to fill our book. We need, I think, seven or eight coins, and we're having a hard time finding them. But Hudson is going to open another box today. Nickels were the first, the uh, second thing we started hunting and still probably remain our favorite thing to hunt. So uh, with no further ado, or very little further ado, until I find Hudson's screen. Full screen Hudson? I bet that sounds like it's it. Do you see it? It's up. It's full screen pop. All right, and you've got your, uh, are you going to bless that box? Uh, yep. We have a new box of nickels, well, one off our shelf, the 7172, so it's an old box of nickels we've had for a while. Pure 64 we, V nickel. We usually average 15 to 20 fines. We, we average 65 through either a war nickel or a uh, buffalo nickel. So hope we find uh, some good stuff today. The last few boxes have been pretty average. Hopefully we bust out of average today. Hudson's the only one of us that's ever found uh, buffalo enders, buffalo nickel enders. Paul never has. Aren't you? Not seeing anything on the top. All right. Well, let's get uh, to opening. We'll be back with the first find. All right, it took all the way till roll six, but Hud's got his first find. Got a 1956. Is it P? I'm gonna guess the P. Well, it's an ugly coin, but it's our first find. We'll take it. All right, got another find, a 1957. D. Took to roll point. 11. This box needs to heat up now. Alright, and roll 19. Got a 1948. We need the yes for the book. D. Ah! Third find in 19 rolls. Boy, this box needs to heat up soon. I've said it a million times before. One side of the box is always better than the other. Boy, I hope that's true on this one. Hey, we got back-to-back -back rolls to find. Roll 20, uh, 1946. P. So. We don't need it for the book, but I'm glad we found another one so soon. Yep. Warm it up. All right, we got two finds. Roll 27, a 1947. S. And a Canadian Viva. 1982. One nickel. Up to six fines for 27 rolls. Keep it going. All right, roll 32. Another find in 1941. P. Got another find on the board. All right, and roll 38. We got a proof, a 69S. And this thing's like perfect. I'm questioning whether it's a cameo or not. Can you show the reverse of it? Oh. I mean, it is beautiful. I could probably get that thing. Oh my gosh. That's, this looks like the ones that we do on auction. Blingy as heck. Well, that, uh, we haven't had a ton of finds, but uh, I think that's number eight. And that's a nice one. All right. Next roll, we got another find at 41. E. Take it, that's number nine, headed for double digits. All right, roll 42. We got find number 10 at 1940. S. A lot of S stamp marks. Yep. 40S, well, we're in double digits, that's 10. Eight rolls to go, can we get to 15? All right, find number 11, we got 
D. 41D, that was in the very next roll. That it puts us up to 11. Can we get to 15? Throw a roll. All right, roll 44. Three rolls in a row with fun. We got 1946. P. All right, we're sneaking up on it. That's 12 fines. All right. Four rolls in a row. We got fine number 13 in row 45. We got 1980s. 1948p. Uh, we'll take it. He's a little rusty. All right, five rolls in a row. Got a 1952. Gee. Like I said, uh, one side of the box is usually better than the other, and that's this side of the box. One more for 15. All right, last roll. We got a five. Number 15. We got a 1941. P. 15 fine. She's got a few coins left to search. Well, that's going to wrap up the hunt. We eked out 15 fines with like six fines in the last eight rolls. Find in the box. What is it, Hud? We have the 1969S. Proof. And she is a beauty. Oh, sometimes you win, sometimes you break even. Something, 15, pretty average box, back with a wrap up. Well, that was 10 in the 40s, 3 in the 50s. Very strange We're ratio. A foreign and a proof. A foreign and a proof. A proof in the 60s. So, hey, it's always fun to hunt nickels. That wasn't the best box we've ever hunted. But 15 finds, that's not bad. And maybe next week. We'll be back into the War Nickel Buffalo Zone, I hope. Maybe and even two, bo two boxes in a row with a proof. That's awesome. So, that's it for All About the Jeffersons this week. Uh, Y'all take care. God bless. And we'll see you when Paul and Hudson have more. Spare time.